There is only one pod hotel in London. This is a really industrial area. I don't think I'd be wanting to walk down this road at night. This is the pod room. I, I don't want to sleep in the coffin. Can I go home? Suddenly feeling very claustrophobic. Oh, this is most definitely a single bed. I'll be honest, this is a bit grim. I feel grimy. I feel absolutely disgusting. I hope the showers are clean. Oh no, somebody's used that and that doesn't look clean. That's been used too. Hair in it. I think these walls are very thin. Can you hear that? I think that's a train going by. This is what my life has become. <laughs> Eating soggy sandwiches <laughs> in a coffin. As I'm sure you know, London is a very popular city both for business and tourism, which means London is a very expensive city. So trying to get a hotel room for less than £100, £150, especially on a weekend, which it is today, it's Saturday, uh, it's very difficult to do that. So um, I was inspired by something I saw Harold Boulder do. Um, a few years ago. He stayed in something called a pod hotel. Now he's not the only one to do that. I've seen lots of people staying in pod hotels on YouTube. And I was wondering, does London have pod hotels? Well, the answer is not really, but yes. There is only one pod hotel in London. And guess how much it costs? Well, I got it for £37. Now, the problem is that uh, it's not exactly in central London, it's just outside in what's called Zone 2 on the map. So Zone 1 is the middle, Zone 2 is slightly outside. And it's an area called Hackney Downs. And there is no tube line that goes to Hackney Downs, there's no metro going to Hackney Downs. You have to take an overground train and you have to take one from here, from Liverpool Street Station. So that's why I'm here right now and I'm going to head over there and get on the train. Luckily, you could just use your contactless card, your contact span card uh, for this journey just like you can for the tube. And if you download the TFL Go app and type in where you are and where you want to go, it will show you multiple different routes of public transport that will get you there. So anyway, enough talking. Let's head off to my ultra cheap pod hotel. Uh, they have sent me an email with some instructions. <laughs> Turns out, actually, quite a lot of different trains stop at Hackney Downs, and um, I can just get the next one from Platform One. And like I said, contactless works. <laughs> So, I'm at Hackney Down Station. Oh, as soon as we come out, there's ambulances. Uh, hopefully, nothing serious or criminal. Um, but, oh. This is really important. So I checked on Google Maps before I booked and it turns out that next to this train station we have a Tesco Express. What does Tesco Express mean? Well, uh, not cheap cheap, but certainly cheaper than restaurant meals. So let's go and get something for dinner because I haven't eaten all day. And also maybe we'll get something that can be microwavable um, or, you know, there is a kettle. So let's see tempted by the fresh fruit aisle. But let's have a proper look around. So that's dinner on the cheap sorted. I managed to get three sandwiches because they were marked down ridiculously by like 70% or something. Uh, so yeah, Tesco Express right next to Hackney Down Station. Now I just need to go and find 
where this place is. And I think I know because I checked the route on Google Maps and it's around the corner. Uh, Oh, look, there's a Palestine flag up on that building. You see it? Palestine flag? Yeah. It's everywhere. Right. Where do I go now? I know on the maps, I'm supposed to turn a left here. But I probably need to cross this road first. You know what, just looking at it as it is, this area doesn't seem so bad. Lots of restaurants, fast food places, Caribbean cuisine, and it's halal Caribbean cuisine, nice. Okay, so, what is this? Uh, it's not Bodney Road. I think it'll be the next one along. Yep, that's it. Andre Street. It's number 12 Andre Street. There we go. This is a really industrial area. Got railway arches, a tire place. Mechanics do bodywork on cars. Yeah. I don't think I'd be wanting to walk down this road at night. Luckily, we're only at about, well, 6.30, still light out. Ah, another Palestine flag. I'm starting to like Hackney. May peace prevail on Earth. Amen, brother. Right, I think we're almost here. So, it's number 12, and they sent me an email with the details of how to get in. It's just a four digit code. So let me get my phone out and check it. Well, this is it, Como. No buzzer, lol, I just call. Okay. And this is the entrance. Needs a code. I have no idea what to do here. Oh, here it is. I'm not going to show you the code. Yes, it worked. It's open. Now, their email said, head to the second floor. And indeed, there it says, Como Pod Hotel, second floor. Oh, okay. You know what? This maybe wasn't a bad choice for £37, $50. Uh, so far, I'm, I'm positive, optimistic. Hello, two. Uh, yeah. Right, so this must be it, because it says so, Como. And again, I'll have to type in the code, which I'm not going to show you. Yep, that worked. And apparently they have given me pod ten. Hello. Um, which way are the pods? Oh, through here. Yes. Through okay. Here. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Hello. Cheers. Oh, no. which number? Ten. So oh, it's that one. Um, yes. Excellent. This for much, I think. Thank you very much. Let's see what we've got here. So I'm not on the ground. I'm just um, on the second level. Right, so this is the pod room. And we have 12, 16, 16 pods here. Um, one row at the bottom, one row at the top. Um, they put me in pod number 10. They provide some bedding, a pillow, a blanket, and a towel. What more do you need? 
I mean, I did bring my own towel as well, so I'm happy enough with that. That's all good. There is a fan. There's a box over there with a light, which may also have a plug. Oh, suddenly feeling very claustrophobic. Okay. Okay. This is most definitely a single bed for a single person. And it feels very stuffy, so let's see if I can turn this fan on. Is there a something or other? Oh, there's a USB and a plug socket. Oh, that turns the light off. There must be something somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's a button. Three, three power levels. I'm going to put it at number three for now. Whew. I'll be honest, this is a bit grim. This is a wooden box with a mattress and a pillow. And that's all it is. But it's £37. That's what it is as well. So I can't really complain. Let's see what's in here. Does this open? Oh, it should. Oh, it's just storage space. Okay, nice. That's quite useful. But look, this mattress, absolutely tight on this end. And then barely a hand's worth of space on the other end. <sighs> I need a shower. And I'm going to have one. Right, so I'm only staying here one day. I didn't actually have to stay here at all. I could have just got uh, some transport back home. But I'm staying here as an experiment for this channel. And it's only one day, so I've tried to pack as light as possible. So I'm going to show you what I've brought. Well, obviously, I have my phone. Um, but again, very small phone because it folds. I've brought one backpack, one rucksack, and that's it. That's all I've brought with me. So let me show you what's inside. Firstly, on the side here, these are some sunglasses in case uh, the weather gets really nice. And this here is a tiny travel towel. I also got this padlock because apparently we have lockers here and you need to bring your own padlock, otherwise they will sell you one. So rather than have them sell me one, I just brought the one that I usually use for the gym. Why not? Also, ah, okay, this is really interesting. So these are hand warmers, USB rechargeable hand warmers. I've charged them at home. They've got about 10,000 milliamps worth of juice in them. And you turn them on and they will stay warm for around about five, six hours. And I thought, if I'm going to be here and the weather turns cold and suddenly I'm in this wooden box freezing myself off, um, this will come in very, very handy. What else is in the rucksack? In the front pocket of the rucksack, two pairs of socks, not one, but two, just in case, and a whole load of toilet fleas. So this I stole, this is shower gel I got from a very, very posh hotel, moisturizing a deodorant, antiperspirant. This is some body and hair gel that I also pinched from a very posh hotel. And finally, oh yeah, um, some nice body moisturiser, hand moisturiser that I also stole, uh, this time from a lounge uh, at Heathrow. Uh, I think it was the BA lounge. Yeah, pretty sure it's a British Airways lounge. I'll need all those toiletries when I go for a shower just now. Also in this backpack, I'm, I, there's going to be a theme here of me nicking stuff. Um, I mean, it's not stealing, but British Airways gave me this disposable toothbrush with some toothpaste. And I also brought one of these mini mouthwash toothpaste combos with me as well. And then in the main section, uh, I have, oh, underwear, just one pair. I don't think I need more. Um, a t-shirt that I might perhaps wear tomorrow. Um, and, oh, another pair of socks. I think I've done it with the socks and a pair of shorts, which I will wear instead of pyjamas, and also useful to wear when you go showering. I think that's it. Perfect. Oh, no, I forgot. I also have a towel. 
Now, I know that they said they would supply a towel, and they have. Uh, they kept their promise, but I also brought one of these little microfiber things that are very, very absorbent, but also dry very, very quickly. I think that'll be good. Anyway, should I eat first, or should I go and shower first? Well, I think I'm in the mood to eat something, because I literally haven't eaten since yesterday at some point. Yesterday evening, and it's now, oh, 6.45pm. So, eat first, then shower. By the way, I've checked the USB-C port um, to see whether it's fast charging. It's most definitely not fast charging. It is very slow charging, but it will do. It will do to charge my phone overnight. It'll be fine. So this is what my life has become. <laughs> Eating soggy sandwiches <laughs> in a coffin on the outskirts of central London. It's all right. It's okay, I've been doing this for a night, it's not a big deal. I've I've actually had worse over the years, so it's fine. But yeah, the the sandwiches there was there was a reason they were marked down, look at them. Not very appetizing. I could have finished their sandwiches. I just couldn't and I think yeah, haven't eaten in twenty four hours, you can't really eat much. And secondly, now all I want to do is sleep, rather than go shower. But I do need to go shower, because it's been a long, long journey. I feel grimy. I feel absolutely disgusting. I hope the showers are clean. Let's go have a look. Oh. Toilets and showers. Okay, so this is the toilets and showers. One, two, three, showers, and one, two, three toilets. Let's have a quick look. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. It's got hand soap. That's good. And a couple of washing machines. No, actually, hold on. One of them's a dryer. And this will be a washing machine. Oh, look, they've got those efficient little hand basins at the top that drained the tank, and then you use that water to flush. It's really good. That is so good. Same for this one. And the shower comes with some kind of bath mat thing. <laughs> some paper towels. And a hairdryer. Nice. Okay, right, it's time for me to have a shower. Oh no, somebody's used that and that doesn't look clean. That's been used too, hair in it. But it's not too bad. Look, shower head, shower gel, hot and cold. What would you need? Oh, you know, that was fine. That was absolutely fine. The pressure was fine. The temperature was good. That free gel that they provide, the body gel, works perfectly. Uh, no complaints. I'm all right with this. It's okay. All right. So every pod gets its own locker. Um, and mine, which is number 10, seems to be broken. That's a shame. Um, is it? Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it still works. Um, and here we have the kind of shared living space. A little bit of a kitchenette with a kettle, some salt and pepper, and a microwave, and a vending machine where you can buy overpriced snacks. Otherwise, just a table. Oh, I wonder what the view's like. Oh, some working spaces. Nice. Oh, the view is literally of the railway track. There we go. Plane. And these are the railway arches. Time for me to sleep. It's way, way too late. And actually it's not, but I'm just very, very tired. So there's an air conditioning unit there. I don't want to sleep in the coffin. <laughs> Can I go home? 
you know, as depressing as this place might be, and you know, I do keep calling it a coffin, and honestly, it, it's not much better than a coffin. <laughs> Maybe two coffins put together, that's about what it is. But I am so tired, I'm so, so tired, that even though it's 8, 8 p.m., I think I'm going to fall asleep and probably wake up around about 10 a.m., which is checkout time. Um, hopefully that won't be a problem. But, you know, the bathroom, it seemed clean enough. It's three showers and three toilets for 16 people, well, 17 people, including the member of staff. Does seem quite stingy, but at the moment they look clean. Um, but I also suspect this place isn't fully booked out. But yeah, I'm, I can't keep my eyes open. I mean, it's time for me to go to bed. I'm, I'm so glad I had that shower, though. I'm just so refreshed. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Right, so it's the next day. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I did sleep. I did sleep. Pretty much all the way through the night, although I kept waking up uh, every now and then. Probably because somebody was coughing or stealing or snoring or something. And I'm a heavy sleeper. I think these walls are very thin because um, it's just literally a sheet of wood in between each pod. What I miss is just being able to stand up and change. Because <laughs> you can't stand. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of slightly above average height um, and the ceiling here yeah there's not really much room um just being able to turn around in this confined little coffin is uh it's difficult but also um the usb-c that i mentioned yesterday that does not work just to be clear that that will sometimes work but most of the time it won't I'm not sure what the deal is with that it's now time to time to, time to leave and i'm kind of glad it's 9 30 a.m um, and they kick you out at 10. I'll be happy to, to, to be on my way. Because for a germaphobe like me, this place may not be dirty. This place may be very clean. They may clean it regularly, but it just feels like, you know, it's, it's raw wood. Time to go. Can you hear that? I think that's a train going by. I'm glad I was sleeping on this side. Uh, look, there's the train. This is the this is the, the train that you've been hearing. Luckily, I was on the pods further away. But if you're on the pods on this, you're going to hear those trains. Wi-Fi is very good, by the way. Wi-Fi is nice and fast. One thing I forgot to mention: free coffee. And Costa Americano coffee pods. I'm not a coffee person, so I won't be enjoying that, but you might. Oh, they do have some funky progressive posters here. Yeah. Vending machine, extortionate prices. This is why I told you to go to Tesco Express, just next to the station. And this all looks nice and clean. Yep, very clean inside. Uh, right, so I'm back at the Hackney Downs station, heading into central London. What did I think of London's only pod hotel? Well, Firstly, it's cheap. You can't deny that. I mean, I got it for £37. I think I got some kind of special discount. But even at £40, £45, that's still a good deal if you're a single person on your own on a really limited budget and you're willing to slum it. Now, I've, I've, I've stayed in some really cheap hotels that barely deserve to be called hotels. You know, the kind of easy hotel, uh, Formula One in Asia, those kind of things where it's literally a mattress in a room. But at least they have a separate bathroom and at least you can stand up <laughs> at least you can get changed in your room quite easily you can't do that in the pod and this isn't one of the sophisticated pods that you see in asia this is a, a coffin it's it's literally a wood box about the size of a single mattress um, with no air conditioning with no good lighting with a single plug socket uh, the usb that doesn't work a blanket a very very thin pillow 
and a towel. That's all they give you. But if you're on a budget and you're on your own and you're young, then maybe this is for you. I certainly won't be trying that one again, though. Oh, that's my train. Gotta go. Bye now.